Good morning from Leipzig. We are currently in Leipzig, obviously. We are staying a week at my cousin's place. Him and his wife and his son, they, um, they've gone on a bit of a holiday for a month and they kindly offered for us to stay at their place, which is fantastic because they've got a big garden, lots of toys for the girls to play with and a little, see, a little mini trampoline, so they are in heaven. So today we're heading into the city. We're going to have a look at Bach's grave at Thomaskirche because Mark really wants to show Izzy. She's, um, she knows a lot about Bach and we've read books about him and listen to music so it's going to be quite exciting, especially for Mark, to show her. Tomorrow we're going to meet with my brother who lives in Leipzig. I'm going to meet up with my best friend who lives in Leipzig and um, we'll stay here until the end of the week. Izzy, tell me, do you like it here? Yeah. What do you like best? Um, all of it. Are you excited to see Bach's grave today? Yeah. Yeah? Do you want to tell him anything? Yes. What do you want to tell Bach? Why can't I can wait for my mouse? Okay, fair enough. Um, I want to tell Bach that I'm going to learn how to read when I learn all the alphabet. I want to also tell him something else. That the alphabet also helps me to do what I learn. And I'm going to tell back all the things that I could um, do. Yeah, that is Because so good. I'm a big girl, I'm going to tell him that I can dump up really hard like that can. Hmm. Having a little snack. <gasps> yeah. In case you're wondering about Clara's face. She stacked it and she had a little cut to her forehead and her nose got a bit affected. We were the sight on the playground because blood was just going all over her face. It looked so, so bad. But luckily it wasn't actually that bad. So we made our way into the city centre, or Little Paris, as Johann Wolfgang von Goethe nicknamed the city, while studying law at its university. In fact, Many famous poets and composers had either lived and worked here or came for visits to draw inspiration. Amongst them were Johann Wolfgang von Goethe and Friedrich Schiller as well as Felix Mendelssohn and Robert and Clara Schumann. And then of course there was Johann Sebastian Bach. His ties to Leipzig are Davis. Even though not born here, he served as Thomas Cantor for 27 years, right up until his death at 65 years of age. And now, this is where his current resting place is, right here inside the Thomaskirche in Leipzig, where he used to work for so many years. What are we going to see, Izzy? That's right. Yeah, where is it? There. That's it. It actually is quite incredible to be standing in front of a man's grave who is one of the most influential musicians of all times, and in fact being named by the New York Times as the most important composer in the history of music. Izzy was certainly impressed. To her, Bach has the same status as Elsa or any other Disney princess. To say she was stoked is probably an understatement. We then had a bit more of a look around the city with its pretty old buildings and some attempts of blending the new with the old. But with two little children, we had probably reached the end of their and let's be honest, our tolerance to do any more sightseeing and decided to make our way back home. <laughs> Why do you want to do music? Um, because I want to get a wife like back. So, we're back home. We had a bit of a look at the centre of light. But it is very different with kids. We didn't get to do much, didn't have, didn't, you know, like, Izzy you could do stuff with Clara. She just wants to be up and moving, so it's very, very hard. <laughs> to get anything done or have a little rest anywhere, just sit and eat something, it's just hard work. All right, I'm cooking some dinner now, because it's getting late. Is it good? Over the next few days, I went to see my friend who lives in Leipzig with her little family. It was nice just being able to pop over to her place just like that and spend some time together. 
We also spent quite a lot of time in the garden and my brother, who also lives in Leipzig, came by for a visit. <laughs> get him, Izzy, get him! Oh. I really enjoyed these moments as these are the things I don't get to do when back in Australia. And finally, I took the girls to a suburb where Mark and I used to live. We have made our way to a park that um, I used to come to very, very often for runs and that. And it is so cool taking the girls. Going for a run here was my favourite thing to do back then. Entering this part of the park with its beautiful big trees always made me feel so good. Okay. And even though I wasn't running here today, I felt the same sense of happiness and content walking through here. I even got to sit and enjoy it a little bit whilst the kids were playing at the playground. The park then opens up to a huge grass area from where one can make some quite amazing discoveries. What? Look what we have found in our walk. What happened to you? We arrived in Africa. The park's right next to the zoo. So, um, every now and then you get a few little glimpses. It is so nice. Yeah, it's funny as I say this, it is actually raining. But it's been so dry, all the grass, everything is just so, so yellow and dry. It's more like Australia. It's been a super, super dry summer here. Look at that. There were big um, wildfires in um, Saxon. Saxony, Switzerland, Saxon, Switzerland, um, where we will be going to in a couple of weeks as well. But yeah, unheard of. Alright, well, we're getting close to where Mark and I used to live when we first moved to Leipzig. Exciting! So, you can look, this is the building that we lived in. And just like that, our time in Leipzig was coming to an end, with a new little adventure waiting for us just in another couple of weeks. So, I shall see you then. Bye!